What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, work for me has been extremely demanding, but today we're going to talk about my Super Nintendo collection. Now I just want to say this, like I've owned many Super Nintendo games in my life. Uh, one game in particular was one game that I cherished as a kid. A lot of them I sold, never got back. This is just stuff I found at the flea market, I want to say over the last 10 years or so, conventions. Everything here I got locally, pretty much. Uh, nothing here I ordered online. And I mean, honestly, I just emulate most of the stuff anyway. So, you know, if, if it's something cool and it's for a good deal and I find it's in front of me, you know, I get it. But anyway, let's go over my Super Nintendo collection in 2020. These games are in no particular order, but the good ones are on the shelf and I'll pull those down as we get to them. Anyway, Acrobat Mission, uh, local game store, Shooter, obviously a Super Famicom game. There's going to be some Super Famicom games in here too. Uh, D-Force, another shooter. Not great, but okay, and pretty cheap, as you can see. Uh, next game, Yeez 3. Um, what, this is like a side-scrolling platformer Yeez game that's not that great from what I remember. It's, it's been many years since i played this, but uh, I got this in a trade. I traded this dude some clothes for a bunch of video games, and this is just one that I never sold, but Yeez 3. There's uh, ports of that on other systems as well. Operation Logic Bomb. Uh, this is a twin-stick shooter, pretty good game. If you have the Nintendo Switch Online, you can play this game for free. And I recommend actually playing it that way on your Switch, but Operation Logic Bomb. Uh, next up, Firepower 2000, again, another shooter. Uh, this game, there's a game on the PlayStation 1, a shooter. Oh, uh, God, uh, I forget what it's called, but it kind of reminds me of this game. Pretty decent game, not super expensive, but I guess shoot them up. There's uh, stuff on land, obstacles that can get in your way, and you got to go around them. So some people might not like that, but anyway, Firepower 2000. Uh, UN Squadron, pretty decent shooter. Um, I don't know why that says, that's just on this, uh, this is a pretty cheap game. I'm, I'm assuming it's still really cheap. Um, I don't think I paid 20 for this one, but yeah, UN Squadron. A lot of people really love this game. I think it's okay. Uh, the mechanics of like buying the ship and all the accessories for the ship, or they're more commonplace in 2020 than they were back then. So that was innovative. But for me back then, games like this kind of got in my way because I just wanted to get in the game and play like immediately. Didn't want to buy a ship. Didn't want to buy upgrades. I just want to go and pick up upgrades as I'm going along, kind of like in Soldier Blade or something like that. But anyway, UN Squadron, a pretty cherished uh, Capcom game for certain people. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have, there's a price sticker there, but Darius Twin, a Darius game. Uh, I have another Darius game I will show you. I'm not going to talk a lot about, but uh, Supernova. Uh, it looks like just for the Super Nintendo here in the U.S., they just released, uh, I forget which Darius game this is, but they released it as Supernova. And, I mean, look at the artwork. I mean, obviously, it's a Darius game. That doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out. But I had never heard of this. I mean, I don't really look up shooter lists online, really. I mean, I have before, but I don't really don't. But, yeah, I just saw this at the flea market one day and was like, that's a damn Darius game. And I, I was right, and it was cheap. So, whatever, Supernova. Maybe I should play that game some more. Um, here, I'll, here's another classic Raiden, Raiden Triad uh, for the Super Nintendo. Again, a cheap, pretty cheap game. Should be able to find this for under 20 bucks, but pretty decent shooter. Uh, Contra 3, classic. Do I need to say more? This is a classic. Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Uh, this is a game that I actually cherish on the Super Nintendo. Love this game. Uh, even the levels where you use the shoulder buttons to rotate, you know, the Mode 7 is great. I love it. Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Can't recommend that game enough. Uh, Super R-Type, the Super Famicom version. Mega Man X, my favorite Mega Man X game in the seat. Well, I like X4 and X1, which are the two most common games, but they're the two best games in my opinion. But Mega Man X, a game I actually beat as a kid. Loved that game. Super R-Type, the US version. It's the, I think these are exactly the same. This I found at a convention. I was like, oh, Super R-Type for the Super Famicom. I'll get that. Wish this was R-Type 3, but anyway, I don't even have R-Type 3. This was cheap at the flea market. This is Breath of Fire, RPG, classic. There's a million ways to play that. Earth Defense Force, again, a pretty decent shooter. I'd, I'd put this in the same category as uh, UN Squadron, although it plays a little bit different, but Earth Defense Force. And the Earth Defense Force games, like they come out nowadays, are not shoot em up, so. Okay, we have Thunder Spirits, a game in the Thunder Force series. And I didn't pay $3.99 for this one. I'm sure I paid the $17.99. But who wouldn't pay $17.99 for a Thunder Force game on the Super Nintendo or, or Super Famicom? Um, 
Gradius 3 to Gradius game. Plays like a Gradius game, Gradius 3. All right, here's some ones that I've gotten. Uh, some more recently, some not. But these are some good ones. Um, Super Bonk. Got this recently. I want to play Super Bonk too. I just now, I, today as a matter of fact, I learned about it. I was doing, I was looking on eBay and I was like, Super Bonk too. Is that some kind of repro card? Maybe it is, but there's a rhyme out there. Maybe it's a legit version. I don't know. But Super Bonk 2, I want to try out. But this isn't the greatest Bonk game. I love Bonk's Adventure, uh, you know, a lot more than I like this. But, you know, if you like Bonk games like me, I'd say pick it up. Uh, this is my favorite shooter on the Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, uh, Macross Scrambled Valkyrie. I actually got this at uh, Too Many Games a couple of years ago. But it's funny, like, when you're looking for a game and you can't find it for years, which is, it's, I looked for years for this one. Um, you know, eventually, I think I found three in one month, and I bought the most expensive of the three. I paid 100 bucks for this one. Mm. I've actually bought a few copies of this um, over the years, uh, some to find for friends and stuff like that, but it's just because it's my favorite game on the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom, but Macross Scrambled Valkyrie. Cannot recommend this shooter enough. Contra, Contra, <laughs> Castlevania, Super Castlevania 4. Uh, great game. Love Castlevania games. I don't own any of the other ones on the Super Nintendo or Castlevania Dracula X. I wish I did, but uh, I really do like this one, and most people do like it. If you've, if you've played this game, obviously you love it, but Super Castlevania 4. This is the game earlier in the video where I, I said there's a game that I cherished as a kid. It was this one. Uh, my mom got this because it was on sale. We went to a place called Ocean City. For those of you that live on the East Coast, Ocean City, Maryland. Um, there's a few Ocean Cities, but went there, got this for my birthday. The, the box actually has that same artwork on it. Um, this is actually a copy that I bought for, you know, from this place right here, actually. Uh, don't have the original copy I had as a kid, but I remember seeing the box and was like, oh, God, I'm going to hate this game. Like, this seems like something my mother would buy for me that was on sale. But I remember playing it that weekend and played the crap out of that game. But I guess it's Phalanx, 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 but awesome shoot 'em up. One I actually owned as a child. Um, another one that's great is Biometal. It's got a, this has like one of the best soundtracks in a shooter you will ever hear. Um, just look up the OST for this. It's like some kind of like 90s like hip hop uh, song. Like it's crazy. It's so funny. But it's a good shooter though, Biometal. It's pretty hard, but I recommend it and it's pretty cheap. Um, found this recently in the flea market and this is Super Terrican. Just recently learned that Super Terrican 2 was a thing. I wasn't really into these games, honestly, until I played Gunlord uh, on the Dreamcast and then subsequently Gunlord X on the Nintendo Switch. Um, and that's when I really fell in love with Gunlord was on the Nintendo Switch. Fe beat that game, completed it, loved the shoot 'em up levels. I wish there was more shooter levels in Gunlord, but uh, Gunlord came from games like this, like Super Terrican. Um, so if you like Gunlord, you're going to like Super Terrican. And I actually found Mega Terrican on the Super or the Sega Genesis a couple of months ago, too. I recently got this. Um, it was pretty, pretty cheap. Um, Sonic Blast Man, too. Obviously, it's got some uh, fading on the label and stuff like that right there. But this is a pretty good beat em up. And there was another game, Sonic Blast Man 1. But that, from what I hear, I've never owned it or played it, but I hear that game sucks. But I heard from uh, other people and, you know, stuff I looked up on YouTube that this game was pretty good. And, uh, as you can see, there's label damage. I really don't care about that thing. All I care about is that it's not a repro cart if I'm paying more than $5 for it and that it actually works. And this is both of those things. So Sonic Blast Man 2. And that's it. Like I said, over the years, I've been many Super Nintendo games, sold many, many more than this over the years, uh, especially living uh, where I live at and having the flea market that I have. Um, there's many, many Super Nintendo games, but these are the ones that I kept over the years and games like Macross Scrambled Valkyrie, which I, I would find and do find games like that at the flea market, but that one that you saw right there, I actually got that copy at a convention. But uh, I'm interested to hear about what you guys have for the Super Nintendo and, you know, what games should I get? What, what kind of hidden gems lie on the system? Um, you know, I was thinking about getting some of those Parodius games for the Super Nintendo or the Super Famicom. Um, they look pretty good, but let me know in the comments down below, what do I need to get? You know, I like shooters like beat em ups, turtles in time. You know, I know I just, for whatever reason, never got that game. And, uh, Ninja Warriors was one. I, I had it as a kid, but I don't have it now. Unfortunately, it's expensive as hell, but I had Ninja Warriors as a kid. That's another one. My mom got me for my birthday. Loved it. And, uh, you know, there's a remake that just came out. So, um, or HD, yeah, it got ported to the switch and PS4 with added characters. 
and uh, it's only like the added characters, but uh, what they did do to that game, it does it a lot of justice, and I'd say it's the definitive version to play of Ninja Warriors. It's called Ninja Saviors, Ninja Saviors Return of the Warriors is what it's called. Anyways, till next time, guys. Peace.